investigator in 2001 told us about how they had rushed ahead with construction of this building at a similar site in Idaho before the designs were finished. We asked her about it back then. You're saying they went ahead and built the building and then when they were finished making all the changes, the equipment wouldn't fit in the building? The qu equipment for this particular process would not fit into the building as designed. It can't be true. It can't be true. It's true. It's true. Five years ago, we were assured the government had learned from its mistakes and things were finally under control. And yet, since then, costs have gone through the roof, up more than 150%. And the start date for making those glass logs has slipped seven years to 2018. The seismic era was only one of several snafus. Tom Carpenter of the Watchdog Group, the Government Accountability Project, got a hold of these internal Energy Department and Bechtel documents, which reveal a series of problems with a special tank for processing or scrubbing the nuclear waste. The problems began when Bechtel hired an outside vendor to build it. They gave the wrong design specs to the manufacturer. They gave the wrong specs? Wait yes. a minute. You're saying that Bechtel hired someone to actually build this thing? Right. And gave them the wrong design? They gave them a uh, less strict nuclear design. According to the documents, when the tank arrived at Hanford, it had, quote, cracked stay wells. They were fixed. But then, quote, different types of well defects were discovered. And yet, Bechtel went ahead and installed the scrubber tank anyway. But they still said, well, we can fix those when the tank's installed. So they went ahead and installed it with defects, all right? Knowing, Knowing it. Yeah. Okay. okay, so uh, at, at this point, Bechtel demanded and then received a $15 million bonus for meeting a milestone. The milestone said install a tank. And they did. And they did. And then they said, OK, we've done what you've asked. Give us the money. Bechtel wouldn't give us an on-camera interview, but did tell us that the $15 million wasn't a bonus. It was a fee. In any event, after they got the money, a, quote, new deficiency was discovered by independent inspectors for Washington State. This is oh, after it's installed, Yes, right? after okay. it's installed, okay. finds new deficiencies. New problems with no wells. No one else had found. No one else had found. Okay, the red flag goes up, and uh, a full inspection is then ordered on the tank. Well, the full inspection should have been done at the factory where they built the tank. They didn't. There's they should have done the it. Systems. It should have been done. Absolutely. Part of the contract. Sure. The Very full inspection awesome. finally led Bechtel to stuff. realize the tank was and not up to spec, but that that's not all. The design flaws that led to this, this tank being deficient, applied to 66 other vessels, wow. seven of which had already been built. And they had to go and redesign the ones that had not been built and fix the ones that had been built. And it really raises a big question about, well, what have they not caught out there? What other equipment or tools or machinery is installed, maybe under feet of concrete, that this, these programs failed to catch because their programs failed. The contractor failed. The Department of Energy failed. It took an independent inspector to find new deficiencies. Where is the adult supervision here? We are talking a nuclear facility handling some of the worst waste in the world. And they're fast-tracking it? Excuse me. We asked Charles we're, we're Anderson of the Energy Department about this. Okay. When you hear they gave the wrong design specifications, you, you almost can't believe it on one piece of equipment. And then when you hear it's been repeated over and over, that doesn't sound like the Department of Energy is managing the situation very well. well there's a number of those issues that have occurred. Uh, those issues have been identified and corrected, but there's also a large, large percentage of equipment where the specs have been uh, correctly given, uh, the equipment But there been shouldn't correct. be mistakes like that in a plant like this, should there? Well, Leslie, in a large, complex facility project like this, you do have uh, you do have mistakes. These uh, are big mistakes. It, it is. These are big mistakes. There, I would agree that there are big mistakes here, here that we are taking control of and we're correcting. You know, I'm I'm getting a little deja vu here. Because when we were here in 2001, I mean, it was the same thing. We figured it out. It's better now. No problem uh, anymore. Do you think 
being candid with us that the department's up to this. Well, here's what's different now. We've taken steps to provide increased oversight, uh, to reach out for uh, increased external reviews to complete this important work of disposing of this, of stabilizing and then disposing of this waste. Anderson says that the leaking tanks have been stabilized and that there's virtually no chance of further seepage. But Christine Gregoire, the governor of Washington State, who's worked on this issue from the beginning, doesn't believe that for one minute. Let me tell you the story, 1989. They told me there was zero chance that they, there would be any leakage and groundwater contamination. 16 years later, we have confirmed 67 leakers, groundwater contamination. I told them then, gravity works like this, and I'll tell them again today, gravity means we are very vulnerable to the groundwater contamination and a plume that we now have moving towards the Columbia River, which is the lifeline of our Pacific Northwest. A plume. A plume. What, of does, contamination. That, what does that mean, a plume? We've got an uh, area that is contaminated in the groundwater and is migrating towards the Columbia River. And if it gets there, Leslie, we have an absolute disaster on our hands. She's worried about a move in Congress to cut the budget for the Hanford cleanup. I can understand the frustration uh, in Congress. Frankly, they're no more frustrated than me. Right. But the last thing we need is to send a message to this country that it's okay to walk away. It is not. The chances of a catastrophic event over there are real. Time is not on our side. We need to get going.